Tutorial 5 Remote Mode Connect Power Connect the AX27 cable See Tutorial 1 for setting up instructions here, we're already set up and using the 08M2 template file for the AX130 project board. We're going to configure the three LEDs in two different ways. One for when the switch is pressed, and one for when the switch is not pressed. Here's the code. Let's test our code first, to make sure it does what we expect it to do. Remember an 8-pin pickaxe chip uses an output device for the data transfer. This is why the red LED seems to be unresponsive to my program. But this only happens in connected mode, so once the program has been downloaded to the chip, you will see the LED responds correctly. I will demonstrate this now. Now we're happy with our code, you must save it to your computer. Use the Save As option so you know exactly where to find the file later. Now go to the S2P software and click Disconnect. In the Mode 2 section, select Program Pickaxe from .sb2 file and then click OK. Locate and open the file you saved earlier. Your code will now be transferred to the chip and this can sometimes take a while to complete depending on the size of your program. See how your program starts to run as soon as the code has finished transferring. Now you can disconnect the AX27 cable and the program will keep running on your project board. Thanks for watching this short series of Scratch to Pickaxe tutorials. Details of all the other tutorials can be found in the description below.